Hi everybody, this is writer and production apprentice Noah Lloyd with Pelgrane Video. Today we're talking about my favorite monsters, which are the black winged ones. I like the black winged ones because so many other cosmic horror entities have just gotten such a preponderance of description over the years, whether we're talking about Maigo or Cthulhu, that they're not really scary anymore. Whereas the black winged ones are kind of defined by the difficulty it is for us to perceive them. So this is what the Fall of Delta Green has to say about the black winged ones. They're semi-insectile, semi-humanoid entities. Their true appearance is a mystery. Their outer form seemingly drinks light or at least sheds perception like an oil slick. The few surviving witnesses don't generally mention eyes or even number of limbs, but they all mention the black wings. I just love this idea that our, our very perception just kind of um, slides off them. We, it's incapable for us to perceive their true form. The Fall of Delta Green also says that some carry knives or scimitars or make use of bayonets or razors found nearby. I would actually want to tweak that a little bit. I really like the idea that it's, it's just their wings that we can perceive or that our perception at least fills in the gaps and calls them wings. So why not make these wings even more dangerous and make the wings themselves sharp and the weapons that the black winged ones are using? So that's what I think I would do if I was uh, playing the Fall of Delta Green and using them in a game. So this has been my favorite monster from the Fall of Delta Green, Black Winged Ones. Once again, I'm writer and production apprentice Noah Lloyd for Pelgrane Video, signing off.